Welcome back my warriors to more AI the Somnium Files. Last time we came here to the Kumakura offices and it kind of played out different than last time. Last time we fought we found So Sejima behind this door and that was due to Aiba noticing there were still some heat signatures over here. But this time we had to use some way to get Momo to talk. And so we look behind his crest and there's an ASAP behind here. And so now we know he's an ASAP fan. And Iris is also missing. At least from last night because she moved. She didn't listen to us. And it, it must have been important. But now we're going to go back to the Abyss headquarters for, I think, to investigate more or just to bring in the information we have. Okay, I was in the seat again. Center console, wheel. I was not in there. Swyhander. That's a broadsword. Okay. The Swyhander. That's actually the sword Kurt used in um, Greedfall. If y'all are watching that as well. Call you. Call I was to sell. Commiserate what screen? I'm concerned about Riju. Why would I scream? What's come commiserate? I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shogo's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. I'm sorry, I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Okay. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest memory that I have is me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Come with me, to where you belong. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. Wait, what? She helped you? So you weren't a cop before. Hold on a second. A year later, I was called into the control room where Peter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. It's been five years since. Five years and a number of tough cases. But this time is different. Okay. Um, why would I scream? G -g Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh, right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Hmm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. Yeah, but then you'd be gone. My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? 
It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. I'm, I'm starting to think about that. It may be a function, but I feel someone could, if they knew, uh, Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? Probably like an elect electrical discharge that she can't be used afterwards. I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Why are we still talking about this? Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. Okay. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes, as long as the server is alive. Hey, about that five-digit command, how did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Really? Okay. I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Are you worried about her? I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. Iris's body. Frozen solid. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Aiba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Okay, so we're gonna call the number, so... We can't call it from Shoko's phone. The Cabaret Club? Ooh, man. Not a business line, because they'll... Nah. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. So the caller must be a regular there. Do you plan on questioning everyone who's been there? That was actually pretty good. Okay. Um, my home phone? Why did I do that? No answer. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then... You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. 
Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. It, it's connected. It's ringing. I thought you said you did get nervous. Uh, 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 Calm down. Deep breaths. <sighs> Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus! They're gonna hang up! Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot! Why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name! Get his name! How? Ask for his name. Ask, are you Yamada? What? I'm accused. Accused him of being an imposter. Tell him you have a package needed. Be his address. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, my sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Just send it to my office. Where is your office? What do you mean? Look it up. Do you even know who I am? This isn't working. They're going to hang up. Damn. Alright, I thought that would have worked. Are you Yamada? What? I'm pretty sure based on what he sounds like, it's kind of like so. Um, accuse him of being an imposter. Um. Is this Yamada? No. This is... Say it, say it! Are you sure you have the right number? It can't be. How did you get Shoko's phone? No good. Quick, think of another plan! Wow. No consequences. No! That is too suspicious! Okay, let me think. Alright, we're really gonna do this. You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. Yeah, like I said. The congressman. A politician? Sejima. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. But that was definitely so Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. So Sejima is a minor celebrity. He goes on TV sometimes. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? Yeah, we tried all the conversation pieces. Yeah, good job. Is that all? I'm kind of glad I didn't get the right one right. <laughs> what, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no, nothing like that. I tapped my finger against my left eye. <laughs> Stop, it tickles. Rub, rub, rub. Stop! The nerve might break! The call came in soon after. Date! A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as... What is this call? I know who killed Ch And if you let me out of here, I suppose you might say... He will kill again. And he'll take their out. There will be... If you want to stop this serial, I'll be seeing you. 
This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too, but I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. Sejima Residence, Sunday, 7.54. Hey, you can't be here without permission. I'll call the police! What happened? Sir. A police officer. You. Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Okay, so he's gonna try to dodge everything. Hey, a new area, let's look around. Maybe we can turn our full back to him. <laughs> There's an arch shaped stone bridge on, on the pond. Or over the pond. Garden stone, walls, trees. Oh, trees! Oh, a tree gets something, but not the wall. Goodness, mate, come on. Island? Alright. Topiary? The big cub. Boat suit, I guess. No, wait, that's a bush. It's a nice bush. Not a boat suit. Huh. I thought there would have been something there. A lantern? Look, Date. Your favorite cabaret girl is here. That's just a lantern. Rika isn't that sturdy. Wow. Okay. Trees, stone, another topiary. Lantern, mansion, Sejima residence. All right. Anything else? Anything at all? Nope. Bodyguards. Oh, okay. Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? I made a face at him. No reaction. I guess you really can't see well in those. Hey, how much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. I rub my thumb against my pointer fingertip in a circle. Probably double what you make. Really? Iba, bring up a job search website. On it. Okay. When would, when will we get that information? I want to know now. The boss is a liar, you know. Huh. Your boss is a liar, you know. Aren't all politicians? That's surprisingly honest. All right, so he accepts it. Bodyguard, because I can't tell these guys apart, this will be B. What's your name? He didn't say a word. What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B, definitely a B. You're being rude. I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. This guy's domestic. His normalcy must be punished by death. <laughs> what was that, Iva? A bodyguard. I can't tell these guys apart, so he'll be called A. All right, so A and B. Wait, what's in there? Can we, nope, nada, okay. All right, so. I see. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. Yeah, I knew that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? 
What will make so confess he killed Shoko? Call him, peel off his nails, bribe him, threaten him with- No, I'm not gonna do that, idiot. Aiba, call his phone again, using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. So I went back and oh, so went back inside his mansion. Man, his first name is really, really not working. I tried to follow, but Sil's bodyguards blocked my path. Go home, unless you want to get kicked out. I don't know. Hey, how do you know she's gonna die? Me? Anyone suspicious? Okay, that's B. Let's talk about A. I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. Yeah, I get paid by this guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Okay, talk to the housekeeper. I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. Look, a UFO! Look, the Mothman! Look, a grandma! Look, a porno mag on the floor! Where? No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked So's smartphone and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Not his rental phone, the one registered under his name. Where is he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Keep tracking him. Roger that. Harbor Warehouse District, Sunday, 8.51 p.m. What was So doing here? Date, my apologies. What's wrong? My battery is low. You had a battery? When, when was when were we gonna find this out? Now? Are you serious? Is this like story or whatever? Are you serious? I guess it's not going to be a problem. I can still see out my right eye. My vision half. And I went into the warehouse.
Well, I can still see. All right, there's a barrel. Yep, just like the first time. It's out with less things in here. Shelves. Is this a warehouse not in use? Of course it's not. All right. Hook. Forklift. Another forklift. Anything in the back? No. Just this. Workbench? Okay. Something covered with a white cloth is on the table. This is... Uh, it can't be. Iris. Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim... The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Huh? Congressman So Sejima. Bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! Police headquarters, Sunday, 9.48 p.m. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Maybe he's lying, maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name... Alright, even if so doesn't know her... Where Iris was found, visit her at 2 a.m. What's this? Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and interrupted the stream. I hadn't been in contact with her for a while. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Okay. This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. So leaving the warehouse. I saw So walking out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Iber recorded the whole thing. Just before my battery ran out. This information is irrelevant. Okay. I'll pass the report then? I don't think so. Why would that be relevant? Time of Iris' death? Oh, probably where he was at the time. He can't tell. He can't tell a lie because we know. Okay, well that wasn't right. Where I was is found? The warehouse because he probably owns it? Visitor at 2 a.m.? Do we have an alibi for him? Doesn't know her name, but maybe her face. Okay. I'll put a picture of Firebase in front of So. 
So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. This doesn't make any sense right now. Based on what? Alright. Now this one can kind of make some sense to me. Important, but there's something else, yes. Where Iris' body was found. Iris's body was found at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? I stood up and went to the corner of the room. I picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse, but I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me! It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent, as is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. I know my rights. Date, can I get a second? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer, or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? I need to know Sos' alibi. Alright, so I guess we use Iris' time? Or... Okay. Okay. Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night. At a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. If it's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did. But they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait, what did you say? Oh yeah, we never told him how she died. She did, he did, so didn't respond. I think he figured out what he just did. But I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman, so does know about the corpse. Because... All right, autopsy report. I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. <clears throat> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. Sink with him. Forget the six minute time limit. <sighs> you say it every time. Let us begin.
Did you witness my superior driving technique? Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No! I only pressed the wrong pedal! That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Huh, in a word I'd say it's... strange. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. The man's Somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. Uh, never mind. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. It's Iris! What on earth is she doing here? Iris! We can't go any closer? We cannot. That silhouette we saw. This is so Somnium. During a sync, we experience the subject's dreams from a third-person perspective. In other words... It has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. What's going on? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes. We have to save Iris, no matter what! Yeah. But to do that, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Somnium scan! Activate! Help Iris escape. If Iris escapes, she may discover so secret. Okay, so I'm going to guess that Iris was doing something she shouldn't have, and she was probably doing it with someone, and that's the reason she's been killed. So was probably doing something. Right, the forklift, that can move stuff. Oh, this is a one-way path. Nice. A forklift. Kick, drive, but that would put me to death. Uh... Let's hold off for that. A warehouse door. All right, so this one is better. I guess we can knock on it. Is anyone there? No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not answer. All right. A warehouse. I hear laughter, but they're far away. I cannot tell who the voice belongs to. Okay, so we have to. Let's look around. Alright, we can't go down there. We'll find the eyeball somewhere, but not here. Great. Warehouse, large box, warehouse G. A warehouse door. Okay. Is 
anyone there? No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not. Okay, so we're just gonna listen to all these doors. Door. I hear a dull impact at regular intervals, like a knife plunging into meat. All right. Five minutes left, Dante. A warehouse. Do I hear the sound of dripping liquid. Occasionally, a spraying or squirting sound. By liquid, do you mean blood? Unknown, but it is unnerving. Okay. Let's look at the box. A large wooden box. Push, hit, investigate. Uh, we'll try pushing it. Good. I cannot move such a large object. But it's right in the way. Okay. So we use the forklift, most likely. A forklift. And we gotta drive it. Roger that. Leave it to me. It is time to unleash the Drift King. Didn't you crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front-wheel drive. There's something here! Maybe you should jump in. We might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? All right. A mysterious. All right. This isn't. Put your hand in, scream, throw a pebble. All right. Let's get rid of this other one first. A where? Yeah, we already did that. Okay, that's done. A portal. Four minutes. Uh, I'm using nothing. Here? Yeah. My hand. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. Oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. Boxes in the way, too? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. In the lock, one unlock. Alright. So now we have more warehouses. Oh, there goes the door. A warehouse. Okay. Oh, 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 goodness. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard the voice of a woman. She sounded frightened. Yeah. I'm probably gonna have to redo this over again, but. If I can listen to more of these doors, that's kind of fun. A door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. Go in, peek inside. Okay. Why does peek sound so perverted? Isn't that perfectly normal to say in this situation? You sound like the kind of man who uses the word trim unironically. That isn't important right now. So I was right. No! Just look, please. Well, if you really want me to... Oh my! What is it? 
Did you see something dirty? Shut up, pervert. Yeah, I kind of guess this is the door. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the lock before this and then do everything in the same way. All right. So just in case we need to go back to, I can do that. A door to. should have led to the warehouse but okay nice so yo tota <laughs> oh man that's funny let's see if we can find the eyeball warehouse door a a warehouse door oh nice i hear the sound of scraping metal like a knife being sharpened. Sounds dangerous. Be careful. Okay, I think I understand what these warehouse doors are. Three minutes, Dante. Can't go through there. Let's see. Is there an eyeball over here? Nope. Alright. That's great. Is this some kind of control panel? All right, input fighting game combo, no. Raise lever, lower lever, investigate. If I raise the lever, well, that, I don't think that'll do anything. But this fighter combo I wanted to try out. The one that is difficult for humans to input? Yeah, the GH raging combo. Fine, just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. I think you can do it. I'll try. Oh, it moved. That worked. Why am I mad that worked? Ring out! I literally wasn't even thinking that was going to work, but whatever. That's a KO! If only she could fit through that gap. Alright, lock two unlocked. Let's see. Now we can go back to the other side. A warehouse delivery. Okay. There are more warehouse doors. Box near crate. You have less than two minutes, Dante. Look at Hurry. this. This door is kind of open. Look at this warehouse C door. A warehouse. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to do the same thing again. Oh, I messed up. Is anyone? No response. Even if they're. A where? I hear deep, excited breathing. Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? Okay. Well, that's that. We got another one. Let's look around real quick. I'm gonna have to restart again. Well, not restart, just retry. Crane. Box. Anything over here? Are any of these open? You have one minute left. 
Oh, there, that barrel's open. You need these? What about this barrel over here? Nope. Wait, why are those barrels small, but this one is big? What's this? Concrete fragments? Pieces of concrete. Um, okay. Are you okay? I want to go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. Stop it. You trying to be nice makes me want to cry. Huh. Hey, we got another 110. Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. We're just looking around a little bit. I'll restart. And we'll probably go back to just the, not the, retry the whole thing. Yeah, so, let's go retry, and we'll go back to it. Okay, so I did that, got that. Let's go ahead and get the other 10 over here. Aware. Hear this? Sounds dangerous. All right, that's that. Let's go back. A warehouse. Deliver. Okay. So let's go to the crane next. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Yeah, I know. Should we go to the crane or the door? There's also this. Let's try this crate first. Wooden box. Okay, uh, we'll half it. You know, punching it will do nothing and pushing it will also do nothing. Now I'm thinking about it, let's go to the crane. Oh, there it goes. What? Uh, I was looking for you. A crane. Okay, drill something, ride, tackle. Let's try riding. That I am against it, but can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. Okay. What's that over there? That's just the door. All right. Let's try this door right here. A warehouse door. Open. Three seconds or ten seconds? I ah, would we'll do ten seconds. Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. box hanging from the crane in the way now was there something under the wooden box let's just go back and lift it up for now all right men unlock three unlocked we only have one chance to do this now okay and it's still played even though I did nothing so go to the crane Alright, I clicked the right last time. Oh, the thing isn't in there. Um How about this stone? Huh? I hit it, but nothing happened. Yeah. Okay. Do we have to also go to this? Area right here. Wait. Okay, I thought that door was open. What is this? It looks like a premium channel before you pay for it. 
You okay? Peek inside? Why would I just peek inside? Whatever. Oh, I got smaller. If you got any smaller, you'd be as flat as a surfboard. Alright, that was kind of useless. Go to Box Craig because she's trying to get out through there, so. A wooden box. Push? Yeah, pushing would be best. No use. It is either stuck to the ground or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Or you're just weak. Or your instructions are bad. Or you're just lazy. Or your breath smells like garbage. Okay. Last so chance. One minute left. A crate. Tackle. I really don't see how this will work. There is no point doing this by force. If we are going to move it, we have to find another way. Okay, well, what other way would that be? Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. We may have to restart. Is there anything new around here? Can I now go into the picture? This is a. Nope, can't do that. Warehouse D. Warehouse A. Oh wait, the crane controls. A where? Deliver. Okay. Is this some up. kind of last chance? And putting the final control will not work. So. Understood. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. That shadow... must be... Awakened. With no time to spare. Villain. Evasive memory. Day 3, Sunday. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. And Date and Iba... Hmm. Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True, he could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. No, we have a few more questions for you, so... And we'll ask them to you next time. Alright guys, so that was a pretty interesting Somnium. Um, it wasn't difficult, but... It, 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 it almost caught me up at the end. I said... Maybe if we go back to the control panels again, who would have known that the control panels was at the door and I can click on it? But yeah, that's basically how the Summium kind of ends out. Um, even 
as long you only have one more decision to make before the time is gonna go out but yeah I had to restart like well not restart retry like two times because I, I wasted too much time trying to get all the I guess context of every situation yeah, it was pretty okay pretty funny especially how Iba came in on a forklift it's like so was that there originally you know, I, I didn't know it, it was okay it was okay um, but next time we'll go ahead and question show and or so why well, call him show we'll question so and figure out a little bit more about what's happening and this is only like one there's only one path to go so maybe there's another summium that splits off into two paths i don't know it's not like the other one so but yeah guys with all that said i'll see you next time